Okay. So this time, what we are going to do, we are going to pass data from the child to parent. This is also important aspect. Okay. Suppose in the in this example, what is the value we are having at employee farm is there something like this is there. So now what we are going to do, we will write one simple input in the child and that input we will type some value. Suppose uh, employee name, you will type it. That name I want to pass it to my parent and I want to print in the parent second time. Okay. Earlier we are we are getting the data from parent to child, right? Now we want to send this data to the parent. Okay. Let's go to the example here. Okay. So I am going to remove all this data. First step, I want to have one input box. Okay. I will say input. Let us write one input. Okay, so here I'm going to write like a, some input box is there. Okay, so whenever uh, there is, this is also one of the interview they are asking and they want to write one button. Okay, so whenever we are clicking button, we want to print this output in the parent. Okay, simple requirement. Let us save here and check the whether button is there or not. So now I want to make this button uh, something looks better. And what we can use it, uh, btn class name is equal to btn btn hyphen primary okay and here we can use a class name is equal to form hyphen control okay so let us have something like this. this is okay okay so now whenever i am typing something once i click here i want to print my data in the here in the parent okay your data is where is available in the child but i want to pass this data to the parent First, if you want to get any data from the input box, we need to write one state variable data. So let us write one state variable and let us have uh, that value in our hand. So if you want to store any state variable, uh, let us write one hook. What is the hook we are going to use it? Uh, constant. So something like this. Let us write. Okay. Suppose name and set name. I am going to use a state. Okay. So this state. Let us uh, remove this employee name by default. Here I am giving an empty code means this is a default value. If you are giving any value, that value will bind to here. That is a meaning. So now whenever on the input box, where I want to handle this event, uh, whenever on the submit, uh, I want to handle it. Before the submit, so we should do one separate uh, on change is equal to, we need to save that value into variable. So how can we do it? Uh, we need to write one function in the top right. Let us write a function. Uh, function handle name change something like this so this is already we have done okay so and this function where we need to call it here we need to call it from here okay something so this is a normal function or es6 function normal function sometimes in your project what they are trying to do they are going with the es6 function okay so if i want to convert the same function into es6 how can we convert it so i want to convert the same function into es6 first Whenever I'm going to copy it here, that function is not required, right? Function keyword is not required. Okay. And second step, this name is also not required. Okay. So let me remove that name. Okay. So let us remove this name. Okay. Okay. And next, arrow brackets are required or not? Arrow brackets is required. Open and close bracket. Okay. So whenever you want to write like a single line, uh, you, you, these brackets can be there or not. That's fine. So now I want to store this one into one variable, constant and something like this. Okay. Right click and format the selection. Now see, this is also same. This is also same only. Okay. The only difference here is you are writing a ES6 function and that function you are storing in one variable. So this function is nothing but one variable. That variable is a finding to where a function only. So this is also internally it will be echoing with the function. Okay. So sometimes in your project they will be using like this, but both are same. If you want to write with this function, you write it or then anything is fine. Let's let us try with this way. So now let us print this value console dot log off will print the name not the, this value will print the name here and let us see the output so let us change something see whatever the value we are typing it is there right but what is our requirement now whenever i'm clicking it i want to send this data to the parent okay so even though you want to send data from child to parent we have to use the props only okay what is the way we have to use it we have to use the props only let us see how can we use the props so first i am going here and as part of this example i don't need any of this data i am going to remove here 
okay so i can i can do a this also let us have it so first step what i want to do whenever i am clicking this one i want to call a parent class function because i want to submit some data to the parent right uh, parent to child the props is only one way i cannot change it here if i want to send data to the parent i need to call a function okay so that is the reason first step what i am going to do here i am going to have a one function okay i will say function and uh, handle name change something something here okay so here i will say this is a not an event i will say name Okay, console dot log of name. Okay, so here first in the parent, what we are trying to do, we are creating one function. So this is a normal function, nothing great here. Simply we are taking one argument. Whoever calling this function, they need to pass one argument. What is that function argument? A name property they have set. Okay, so now what we have to do, I will say, I will copy this one. So in the child, I am going to write one event name. Okay, I will say on submit or on button click you can write any name here no problem this is also like your property name only so for now i am writing on button click so what i am going to do i am going to copy this one this is like a function not a property so when whenever we are clicking button which function will be called here something we need to write one function right let us write like a uh, so on click is equal to okay so now i need to call the parent class so what is the parent class i want to call it uh, something like this button okay i am not usually we need to write one function and we need to give that function right here i am not writing any function directly i am giving my parent function okay so let us file save all okay so here but whenever you are writing a button click go to parent is anybody is passing any argument like a button here on button click nobody is passing that is the reason in the parent first go and pass this any function okay whenever you are clicking this function you should execute any one function so already we have declared one function what is the function name handle name change so i am going to write like this okay so the first step is i have created this function and i can say second step is i am writing a what is my child event name here they are writing props on button click i am going to write that as the attribute name and whenever i am clicking this button in parent which function i should call a handle name change so that function I am giving in the right side. So file, save all, and go and reload the page again. Okay. So I am going to save it. See, what is the event name? It is coming here. Synthetic base event. Normally, if you are clicking something, normal event like it will come a HTTP event. Okay, HTML event. And but here, what is the event? It is coming a synthetic event. In the, inside the synthetic event, you will have the normal event, my event. This is nothing but a regular event. So they are clicked on a button and that button and they have all these properties. And so that is the reason. So now where is this output is coming from parent or child? We are printing this output in the parent. So that means we are we are able to send some event from child to parent or not. Using what approach? Props only. So here first we are declaring one property in the child. So what is that property? We are writing one function. Function writer. So in the parent what we are trying to do? We are writing one, one more function and we are passing that function as argument to here. But the only problem here is we are not getting our name. Correct, right? We are getting something. Okay. To solve this problem here, we are solving this one, right? If you are calling directly like this, it is going to pass the event name, but it will not pass the name property. So that is the reason I am going to write a, we can write in a two ways. First, let us write a normal regular function or a constant. Let us write a handle button click. Okay something like this so this is also like our function only right here i don't need any argument that is the reason empty bracket and arrow symbol and close bracket this is nothing but es6 function that es6 function i am storing in a button click so this button click i can use it here okay so now the, in the second way what i am trying to do first i am creating my own function inside my own function i am calling my button whatever my argument name is there i am calling this button and what is the argument i want to send it a name so that is the reason I am passing a name property. This time we will go and check the parent. Let's clear here. I will type A. And don't forget about here. Let's click save. See what is the value? The parent is right. Suppose you want to print from parent. You can print it like this. Go to the parent component. And you can print like a. This is a parent. Something like this. Parent child. 
okay see parent child this data you were able to get it right like this you can pass any number of data to the parent what for the only the default thing is whenever you want to type suppose sometimes what they will ask is whenever i'm typing itself i want to send my data to the parent simple so whenever you want to typing itself you want to send the data go to your child okay so here whenever we are typing this event is calling right simply call this method name inside here automatically it is going to pass the data to the parent whenever we are typing itself okay so but sometimes the requirement will be same see the parent 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 whenever we are typing also is saying right something sometimes they will ask don't send the data on typing only send data on submit so don't write anything here in the uh, on uh, on change you don't do anything only on submit you call the parent call function okay like this you can pass any data to your parent but here the logic is you will declare a function in the parent first okay and that function you are going to write like you left so you are going to declare one property that property will bind into a function like this you are going to do this one okay so this is nothing but passing data from the child to parent but both how which approach we are using it using the props only so props is the way you can pass data from the parent to child and child to parent also okay yes